I'm Helen Coupland Smith from Time2 Resources. This video will help you to understand statements of account. This is the final video in our series of understanding the flow of financial documents. If you want to complete the statement of account as you follow the video, then use the link in the description box below to download a blank statement of account. A statement of account is sent from the supplier to the customer. It is a summary of all the transactions that have taken place in a set period of time, maybe a month, a quarter or a year. A statement of account will list all of the transactions that have taken place in a time period. It will show the date of the transaction, the details, was it an invoice, a payment, a credit note, the value and it will also calculate the amount that is due, the amount that is outstanding from the customer at the end of that time period. Here we can see the first transaction on the 13th of August, invoice number 23789 had a value of £1,541.28. At that point there was still an outstanding balance of £1,541.28. There was then a second transaction. On the 31st of the 8th there was a payment made of £1,541.28. Note, because this is a payment, it is shown as a negative. It has a minus sign in front of it. So now the amount outstanding is zero. There was an outstanding balance of £1,541.28 and the same amount has now been paid. In the month, there were a further two transactions. There was a second invoice for £557 on the 18th of August and at the end of the month on the 31st there was a credit note for £17.10. Why not pause the video now whilst you complete the statement of account? Our statement of account is now complete. We have four lines representing the four transactions that took place in the month. First of all an invoice, then a payment, a second invoice and finally a credit note. After the second invoice had been issued there was an outstanding balance of £557. There was then a credit note of £17.10. Note the credit note is also shown as a negative with a minus sign in front of it. Therefore the outstanding balance at the end of the month was £539.90. This is the amount due from the customer to the supplier at the end of August. The statement account is the final document in our flow of financial documents. It is issued from the supplier to the customer as a summary of the transactions that have taken place in a set period of time. It shows the invoices, payments, credit notes and an outstanding balance. The invoices are shown as positives, the payments and credit notes are shown as negatives. Thank you for watching this video on understanding statements of account. If you haven't already done so, why not subscribe to the Time2 Resources YouTube channel now.